Hi, I'm John. Welcome to another Product Spotlight. Today, I have a model from Atlas that we're going to take a look at, so let's head over to the workbench. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. This is an HO scale 60 foot Gunderson 7538 single door boxcar. This comes from Atlas and it's in their master series. It's a lot like the 7550 double door boxcar that we looked at recently, but it's different enough that it warrants its own spotlight. These cars are listed on the website from Atlas for $59.95. That's an MSRP, so if you shop around, you'll find it for less. Also of note, it comes in several different road numbers. Your best bet is to go to the Atlas website and see if they have what you're looking for. The paint on this model is stunningly good. All the markings are also extremely crisp, including conspicuity stripes that you can see here indicating this is a later era car as well. You'll notice if you look that the detail for the ladders on each side, including the stirrups, it's all separately applied. Also, the detail around the door is really good. This door looks to me like it should operate. It doesn't operate, but it sure looks like it should. The brake end of this model also has exquisite detail, including the separately applied ladder detail, a separately applied brake wheel, obviously. This looks like a photo etched crossover platform, and there's an uncoupling lever. It's very finely rendered, and you can see from this angle that there's also a knuckle coupler here. Here's a look at the other side of the car, and I'll point out since I neglected to do so on the uh, original side we looked at, there's also another stirrup down here. As you might expect, the A end looks just like the B end, minus the brake wheel detail. Looking at the top, you can see it has the stand ray panel detail, as you might expect. And something else that's cool about this car is it has the overspray effect all the way around the top of the roof. And the story behind that is when these cars would be worked on or repainted, they'd spray but not mask it well enough because well, figure that most people will never see the top of the car anyway, so the overspray hit the roof. So that's actually a prototype-specific detail, and something pretty cool, I think, that they did to make it more realistic. The brake detail on this car is also exquisitely done. You can see most of the brake details over here toward the A end, and this is prototype-specific. The website mentioned it. And something else that I find interesting about the look of the brake detail is this reservoir is kind of at an angle, diagonal there. And I don't think I've ever seen that on the bottom of a car before. That's pretty cool. So also from this angle, you can see that it has metal wheels and these are body mounted knuckle couplers. This is another great release from Atlas. It has a lot of fine, separately applied detail parts that, well, they seem to be doing a lot more often these days. The door and the detail around the door looks especially good, and I really like the inclusion of those very fine uncoupling levers. So great job, Atlas. I'll see you next time.